It's me, Sarna Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share the video, you guys. So let's see what's going on. What is going on in the collection? Let's do. I'm gonna do nine of these cards. This is coming next. Coming next. Okay, triumph and success. Solitude and power. Solitude. You got the number one and you got number nine. And then power. So someone here is stepping off into their power and their individuality. They're being themselves and they are succeeding. Okay, you are succeeding. You are, you are have positive forward movement. You are sailing into the sunset, baby. You are going... I feel like you have overcome some obstacles and some challenges or if you, yeah, whatever obstacles and challenges were in your way, you are, you are going to overcome them. Okay. There is a new beginning that's coming here. There could have been some challenges and obstacles with uh, some type of family situation here, but I feel like you are going, going to still overcome that. You have to stand on your own. Someone here has to stand on their own. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. This is your destiny that you're walking towards. Trust your intuition. Your intuition is telling you that I have to do this by myself. I have to do this for me. This is something that I have the power to do. This is depending on me to mend whatever these obstacles and challenges are within my bloodline. Someone here is realizing that they are... They are the missing piece. And there's something that they have to sacrifice or in order to have success here. And that that right now is being in solitude. Someone is standing alone in a solitude. Going towards new beginnings. Trusting their intuition. Okay? Because you're going towards your destiny. As you get over to your destiny, trust that prosperity begins. You will be very fruitful and abundant where you're being led to go. Yeah. Yeah. Balance. You are being led to balance, okay? Finances are going to be balanced. You will go through some changes or you may be going through some now, but there will be some balance. Resources will be restored. You are the one to bring back the balance within a family unit and, and within a family situation. You have the power and the courage to do something that only you can do. And no, you can't be telling everybody and... um. You know, I don't know. You can't be like, let me see. It's like you can't, you can't, you could, you know, tell people like, you know, I'm good right now. You know, I'm good. I'm just, you know, I don't even know what people say. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm telling you going through your own healing process because that's pretty much what this is. So in here, it's like your intuition is telling you about something that's going on in the shadows. And you have the courage to change that. You have the power to change that. But this is something that you have to do to stand up on your own, though. You're standing up against some type of um, barrier or blockage with a family situation. Something that's going on in the dark that it shouldn't be. And you're the one who is standing up and saying, hey, no, this is not how this is going to be. Trust your intuition. Go with your first gut. Okay, yeah, material harvest and moving on. When you move on, you will get what you have, what you're praying for, okay? What you've been praying for comes as you move forward, move on. There's a spiritual union that you are um, coming into union with. Like this person is walking through this door of light towards this right here, okay? This, yeah, light, light. There's a spiritual union that someone is going towards, Something that is being created. Okay? Some type of emotional, spiritual, like, ooh la la vibe. Yes, rejoice and celebration. This is giving me like a reconciliation. So here, someone here wants to come and talk and speak some type of truth. But they might, yeah, in order to heal some type of bridge or gap, it's something they have to do by themselves. They have to bring balance into some type of spiritual connection. Someone here wants to reconcile in order to speak some truth. 
their intu your intuition is telling you to choose wisely when you do this, as you do this. Yeah, true. What the true? This is the truth. You need to speak your truth. Somebody here coming to speak their truth. Truth is here, y'all. Ow. Authority. You have the authority to do so. Your ancestors are letting you know that they are backing you up. You got the power. You got the power. You got the authority. Yes, you will be standing by yourself, but do what needs to be done. Move on from whatever this situation is that is blocking your in that is blocking the success of where you're going, or of where your intuition is telling you you need to be on. Trust your intuition here, okay? Because yeah, this this next move requires someone here to have a lot of courage. I wouldn't be surprised if Daniel Brown came up. But someone here, this fear is, or someone here, if your root chakra could be affected if you're, if you're, if you stay suffering in silence, your foundation will crumble. But if you go forward with and trust your intuition, you will be triumphant. You have the knowledge to do what it is that must be done. With wisdom here. That's what I'm getting. You can you can do it. They're telling you they got your back. Your guides are telling you they got your back. It's time to end out this rest, this deception, deception kind of like mask or with whoever this is, this deceptive energy, these people who you know are envious of you. It's time to lay that situation to rest. Get up out them people face. <laughs> Because you already know the truth. Because <laughs> it's time for you to create, okay? It's time for you to create. There's something that's a seed that's brewing. Yeah. Stand, don't, yeah. You, it's, you can make the choice to grow or you can make, or you can stay trapped in fear. But standing your ground is going to result in, again, the first card out was triumphant success. So if you go through with it and trust your intuition about this spiritual uh union you will be successful here there's there's something that it will grow from this okay so someone here is stuck in fear but they're it's like they're telling me a, a now and a later so stand your ground and passion ignited partnerships and alliances yeah they're telling you to go for it go for it stand your ground and go for it <laughs> hope. Someone here needs to have hope <laughs> and get away from people who disrupt your hope. A waiting game. Could be playing the waiting game here, trying to be patient, being patient. Fulfillment of wishes. That's what awaits if someone here um, overcomes this heartache. If you overcome this heartache and you will go towards this um positive fault positive movement forward yeah positive forward movement yeah yeah it's like someone here can either choose to exit keep going on the loop or choose to exit right and go towards exactly what your intuition is telling you because that's your destiny look triumph again you will be triumphant prosperity will begin I don't know. Well, I know all I know about it is that it's a spiritual union. It's someone who you have a spiritual union with. Someone here is being guided towards someone who they have a spiritual union with. <clears throat> but it's like you have to do this alone, though. You can't bring everybody with you or something like that. I don't know. I keep getting that. You can't bring everybody with you. Someone here has to do something that they that's been like forbidden. Even if it's just to like just come and speak some type of truth, it's something that you know on the surface is like, oh, everybody's gonna be mad, but God is telling you, go ahead and do it. I got your back. Your answer is telling you, go ahead and do it. I got your back. You see what I'm saying? So they, you can, you can choose this person in this situation. You can choose to go for it with it and trust that the universe got you because it does. It's, the guards are saying they, they that they do. Or you can stay stuck in fear and stay stagnant playing the waiting game. That's what they're saying. Victory.
And let's get this one. And then I'll get some affirmations. Maybe a love thing. Because we saw it's about love. I'll pull some romance oracles. Okay, for the collective, what is this? Okay, so let me show you how the cards came out. So rest and rejuvenation. So this person is very peaceful and very much like, you know what? Um, all is well. I'm good. I'm good over here. You know, they are securing their bubble. With sixth chakra, that's the third eye chakra, Archangel Metatron, and the number 40. Okay, so your intuition, all about your intuition, like your gut feeling. Look, this person has his hands around his gut. His gut feeling is telling him that it's time to lay something to rest. And the family card came up in the reverse. Okay, so something with a group of people that's not going right. Okay, it's not going right. So this would be family. This could be a, a group who of people who feel like community. Look, it's a community. Damn. They like, oh, I will tell you what it is. <laughs> it's a community that has an attachment. But see, in this attachment card, she looks so dark. You see what I'm saying? It's a false mask here. Attachment. And it's a false mask. This person is attached here. Look, by a chain. Okay? Somebody here is... is their intuition is telling them to lay this to rest. Right? There you go. With this family that's not so happy because happy family is in reverse, obviously. Community. These people here, right? Because it's an unhealthy attachment to someone in their possible relationships. Right? What else? Appreciation and journey. Someone here is going on a self-love journey. Someone here is going on a journey that's all about, you know, like, hey, I'm I'm about to journey away from this deception here. Or someone here, yeah, you I see I feel like you're journeying away from the deception, or someone here can only be showing you love and appreciation to get you to come towards them. But either way, I feel like you're moving away from that and you're finding your power. What else for? Oh, yeah, you're finding your power. Excuse me. That's, again, solar plexus chakra, um, Archangel Chamuel, third chakra. So, yeah, door to spirit. You're being guided to trust spirit here and speak your truth with the fourth chakra. I mean, fifth chakra. That's your throat chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Our, ask Archangel Gabriel to help you speak your truth, lovingly speak your truth and figure out some type of strategy here action strategize and take action because if you don't it's gonna be a problem with storm warning right behind it somebody already thinking about somebody here is thinking about their money they like hold on wait my money though if you go on over here you gonna take my money whoever this woman is right i don't know that's the storm warning. If you don't take an action and you stay here and, you know, sit in the indecisive space, hold up, it just got good. Now, look, you're going to be heartbroken, heartbroken. Well, this is not so good. So that's, it's like you could choose to be heartbroken or you could choose to be the sun here, which is the happiest card in the deck. So happiest card in the deck and angel of balance. So it's, the choice is going to be yours. It's like you can choose to stay stuck in heartache and go through this storm warning with this woman here who's going to be worried about her money. Or you can choose to follow your heart and go with the happiest card in the deck, angel of balance, goddess of the moon. It's like a mystery woman here. And then we have the healer, healer of ages, the mag uh, magician, yin and yang. This could be a twin flame. It's like some type of healing 
this person is a healer. This person is like really like they shine bright, but it's also something that's like, look, you have the angel of balance with the moon. I mean, yeah, goddess of the moon and the sun. It's like this person shines bright, but there's still some type of mystery about this person. This It's like some type of um, balance that can come about with this healer energy and also the magician in the mirror. This person, it's like almost like what you put in is what you get back. It's a balanced situation here. With the sun and the moon, it's a balanced situation. Magician and the mirror and then healer, it's a balanced situation. Both of these people have their hands out. Yin and yang is some type of balanced situation here. Coming into union with the spiritual union that we saw in the other deck. We got man with a coin, woman with a coin. It's a balanced situation. Angel of strength. Two very strong and powerful people coming together. Creating the temple's path. Whoa. I didn't expect that. Hold up now. The cars then got deep. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> All right, guys. Tarot's, right? I'm pretty sure you guys want to see tarot's. Libra and Sagittarius energy. Bringing in restoring balance. Taurus energy, Libra energy. Bringing in balance. Somebody here has to bring in balance to some type of um, belief system, some type of belief structure within a family unit. Someone here has to pull back from some karmic energies. Okay, let's see. Friends Collective, what's coming? What's coming? <laughs> Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands. Okay, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands. So someone here, I feel like, um, they have a lot on their plate. Someone here has a lot on their plate. Okay. With the King of Cups, there's also there could be um someone who's looking at you like they love you here or maybe they 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 worry but they're not showing it. Somebody here could be worried, but they're not showing it. Four yeah, four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. They're holding back how they feel. But the King of Cups tells me that they feel a lot. Someone here is having, is full with like hope. They, they, their hope, they're wishing on a star here. Of they, they're indecisive about reconciling. They're like, should I reconcile or should I just say, fuck it all? And the school system send out the email on the tablet and call you, tell you about Red Ribbon Week. It's Red Ribbon Week, y'all. I don't know how that's significant. You know, when you say, say no to drugs, it's a cycle that's over with. Yeah, someone here knows that something is over with. They know that they can't. They... They're conflicted. They're conflicted. Someone here is conflicted. They want to come in. They want to speak. They want to say something. But um, they're stuck. Wanting to take action or, or I don't know. Something is something. I feel like you, a fire is lit under you and you're, you're going. Okay, you got a lot going on. 
or maybe not you have a lot going on, but this person may see feel like you have a lot going on. So they're worried that they can't exactly come in and, and reconcile with you. They're hoping that they can, but someone here feels like, what's the will of fortune? All their actions against you have come back on them. Yeah, all their actions they took on you have come back on them. There's been a balance to everything that someone has done. It's almost like every the, the when they made the judgment call to like take action in like possibly a manipulative way with the Ace of Wands things were balanced out and so now they feel like they have they feel left out they can't they can't do nothing but watch you because they know you in like this queen of swords energy You'd be like what excuse me say what <laughs> come again <laughs> yeah someone here knows that their actions here resulted in them being left out in the cold tower card Someone here, I feel like this person could have actually really, like, did magic. Somebody here really could have did magic to try and, like, come at your mind or come at you in some kind of way, in some type of lustful energy, in some type of lustful way, like, put a love spell on you or something like that. But then it, it's like you took these eight wands and added one wand and you came out the nine of wands, right? Still standing. They tried, now this person is in a 10 of wands while you elevated into a queen of wands and they're still over there in their feelings, feeling the results of their love spells that they tried to throw on you. Now they're in their feelings over you and they can't speak on it. They can't say nothing. They can't do nothing but sit back and watch you. Mm. Two of Cups Tower. Someone, yeah, someone here could have took action, but I don't know. Someone here got left out. It across the tower. Tower moment. Two of Cups. Maybe if you end up. Maybe this person, okay, so this person is a king of cups. Yeah, so the person, you maybe you're in a relationship here and this person was watching you sending, sending energy towards you in a relate you in this king of wands. You're a queen of wands because the first card that came out was the king of wands. So this is somebody who you have a lot of passion for. We saw the two of cups. So they could have been sending energy towards your relationship in hopes that you would leave this person out in the cold and move away from them. Oh, so that they can reconcile. But now here with justice, there's this has got to be balanced out because this person didn't have to do that. They didn't have to try to spiritually manipulate your life and play God in your life. They didn't have to do that. Let's see. <clears throat> That person don't know tower. Look, so it's what would because what would have happened if one of those spells hadn't wound up with your ass dead? Because this person want to play manipulation and try to break up something. You don't know the extent. You don't know what people what people got going on. What you doing? Why is you doing that? That's <laughs> that's my question for that person to the cross washers. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Seven of Pentacles. Someone here was waiting. All their seeds, all their actions against it. Look, someone, oh. Let's 
they they became karmic. It's almost like somebody here became karmic. Someone here became a karmic by the actions that they took and the seeds that they sowed. That's what I'm getting from this. It's like a relationship with a karmic here. Someone here, it's almost like the energy, the, all their magic transformed them into a karmic. Even if this was like a twin flame, they transformed themselves into a freaking karmic with the actions that they took against you. And the things that they did, it made you hold back. Yeah, sending conflict towards a commitment here. To someone, yeah, Queen of Swords, you cut that shit down. The world, close out that cycle. Hell no. That's what I feel like you're saying. You're saying. And someone's actions, again, they see that they saw them. It's coming back to them because they were guided to move away. But they're heartbroken. King of Swords, yeah. You two are both, they present themselves in the King of Swords energy. They don't present themselves to you in the King of Cups. They present themselves in the King of Cups behind the scenes and hoping, wishing on a prayer while doing magic, but come and present themselves as a King of Swords. This is somebody who's like like an ex or someone who's uh, divorced or something like that. You know, they, they uh, uh you have to protect your energy from this person. Because this person is, does not have good intentions at this point. That's why you got to pull the tarot, baby. Pull the tarot. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. What's the page of Pentacles or the Ten of Pentacles? Someone here regrets listening to something. Someone here regrets listening to something that was presented to them as well. Someone here has sold seeds based off of something that possibly wasn't what they thought it was. Like, pretty much somebody family came and told them something here. And so this person started doing all this extra stuff behind the scenes, thinking that you were doing something to them. And now they regret it because it's like now they're stuck from listening to these to these people or to whatever, like, belief system or authoritative figure or person here who's in their family and um, leading their community. They had a seven of swords. They were lying to this person. Five of swords in this person, keeping them in a confused mindset. This was a queen of swords, possibly um, a Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Someone here who, um, who was very much like you know, hey, this is how it goes. It goes like this, and that's that's that. Like this is what it is. You can't go against this belief system here because this is how we was raised. Yeah. Someone here could be, um, wow. Mm. There was a betrayal here and it all, all in like some, a woman figure could be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. There's some type of exposure coming out with possibly a mother figure with the Empress here and the devil card. There's possibly a, a karmic mother or karmic sister or a sibling or or auntie or something like that here and there's some type of exposure coming out about a betrayal there's a, yeah a betrayal there's a with the ten of swords at the back there's a betrayal here i don't know if i can see that that other orange card was the sun card but yeah there's some type of betrayal and there or some type of ending there's going to be a an abrupt ending within that situation because <clears throat> something went too far based off of a lie or based off of some type of illusion or delusion. So, 
All right, y'all. I'm gonna pull the scoops and then I'm gonna get it, 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 go, go. And then I'm gonna go. Okay, well, I could just manifest. Okay, so someone here, I feel like, was learning or needing to learn how to manifest um, from a different way. Um, yeah, someone here had to learn a new way to manifest because the old way was make, creating blockages here. Okay. It's, it's, yeah, getting, having them in this caught up energy here. Or some, yeah. Guidance. Someone here is choosing to balance out their life by following divine guidance to maneuver around these blockages and choosing to learn something new. Choosing to learn how to manifest in a different way. How to live life in a different way. Choosing to look at things from a higher perspective. No longer wearing this mask of appearance and pretending to be someone or pretending to be of a vibration that they are not really of. Someone here has, I feel as though it's like starting to ascend. And so they have to choose now that they're ascending um, what direction they want to go in in order to get in alignment with their destiny. Yeah, if someone here could have been wearing a mask, pretending, pretending possibly that they didn't have romantic thoughts about you. Yeah, pretending, yeah, to their family. They were pretending to their family. Like they didn't have romantic thoughts about you. But now someone here is about to make a choice or have to, needs to make a choice because they desire you. Shocked. They can be really shocked and surprised when this person does this or when you do this like uh yeah yes following the signs and the symbols just relax as long as you keep following the signs and the symbols you're gonna be good pretty much you'll be good follow whatever divine guidance you're getting there could be a tarot card reading there's also oh shit some type of copycat energy someone here possibly could have been i don't know Signs and the symbols relax. That's what they said. They said they said I said what I said. They said what I said. <laughs> Just relax. <laughs> okay. Cash flow. I need it all time. We're talking bankroll. My money, 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 money. So someone here could be worried about money, but you about to be surprised when you see what ends up happening here. I feel like um, you're going to get, yeah, balance. Look, relax. Balance and angels, ancestors, your ancestors, your angels, everybody pulling up on your behalf, possibly when it comes to some to deal with some type of childish person or some type of childish energy here. They got your back here. And especially if it comes to like child support, just... Do what you do. Do do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Break your point and meant to be. Oh shit. Someone here possibly like stalks you astrally. They could watch you a lot or something like that here. Or someone here also could be coming to their breaking point living in some type of illusion 
wanting to be with someone who they feel like they're meant to be with. I don't know. Or a relationship. Maybe somebody here could be getting to a point in a relationship where they feel... Mm. Hold on, guys. Let me see. Let me see if I can reel it in. So here's being guided to go in one direction when it comes to love. Because there's something about money here. They're being guided to go in another direction by spirit. But then their family is guiding them to go towards someone else or towards a, a catfish. Or maybe they have to wear this whole persona for their family here. Someone here is going to make a choice. And I feel like it's going to shock everybody when it comes to some type of situation with money. And possibly getting some money or something like that. When you choose to go towards the way you're being guided to go. It's like you're being you're being told in your mind by God and your heart and your spirit and your soul to make one choice, but your family wants you to make another choice. And they about to be surprised when you choose your, when you make your choice and you choose to grow up out of this shit, up out of this limited mindset and possibly when you choose to grow and be with who it is that you're meant to be with. But I feel like someone here is yeah, they they bucking the system. They're like, fuck that. Rumors. Yeah, someone here. It's a lot of people talking about it, talking and saying somebody's doing black magic to make them leave. They possibly could be saying that the person that you're going towards them or going towards could be doing black magic. And there is rumors going around that they're doing black magic to make that person leave. Or I don't know how it's going. I don't know. Y'all pick whatever side this is uh, that you're on. <clears throat> But to people talking about somebody doing black magic to make this happen. Somebody here is following the signs and the symbols when it comes to some type of money in a family situation. Could be, you know, pulling back the energy, releasing these blockages, going towards they're being guided towards. They trust in their instinct. They literally just like, you know, I'm not hearing what nothing that nobody has to say. I know what I'm supposed to be doing, who I'm supposed to be doing it with. And this person is part of my life purpose. <laughs> and they all in their feelings. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, someone here. Ooh, someone here wants to apologize for us being being nasty towards you in the past as well, because they now they feel like they feel like they realize that you're who they're meant to be with, or something like that. Oh, lying and altercation. There's somebody here who's going to come in. Oh, when you get with the person who you're meant to be with and who you, when you get into y'all's life purpose, like some type of like, it's going to be like a power couple situation. I think I said that before, but y'all two, y'all two, there's going to be people from the past who sent y'all evil eye and was all nasty and this and that and da 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 da. You know, they're saying, you know, they're going to be, don't worry about it because in the end, you know, there's just remain in a space of gratitude. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, but know that these people are still going to be sending you evil eye. Um, someone here, like I said, they're still going to be sending you evil eye. Someone here possibly could be getting arrested for some type of drug charge or something like that somebody here could have planted something as well someone here could someone here could like to fight a lot they got a lot they got a lot of addictions they be lying they be in and out of jail someone here's coming back in trying to apologize to say that they're grateful or something like that but it's just like, that's just like a, a watch that motherfucking energy. Okay. Yeah. But someone here is obsessed, obsessed with picking at somebody or something like that. That's the person who's obsessed with like messing with somebody. If this person comes back in or this person going to come back in trying to apologize, but they send an evil eye. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
jump into conclusion. This person going to come back and jump into conclusions that you're already in a relationship or something like that. This person could have got arrested for fighting and, and being intoxicated and always lying or something like that. And maybe they're coming back or something like that. Coming, they're getting out or they're going in. One of the two. But somebody here was jumping to conclusions about a relationship. Confused. Because it's like, yeah, gift. I don't know. Somebody here is not mentally stable. New view. This yeah, this is somebody from your past here. I feel like you're seeing things from a higher perspective now. You see things from a new view. You see now possibly um, above some type of spell work here. Or, uh, or you see through some type of spell work here. You're leveling up. You're um, an inspiration to a lot of people here. A lot of people are looking up on you, looking up to you. Someone here also, someone here is, um, missing piece, missing puzzle piece. Somebody here missing a piece to the puzzle. They not understanding and accepting like, hey, you know, it's your, you, it, this is the copycat. This is the person who wanted to be like the person who you are with or who, not who you are with or who wants to be with you. This person who wants to be with you or the person who you see as the person that you're meant to be with and spend your life purpose with, this person who you feel so, or this person feels that you are the person who they're supposed to be building an empire with, this life purpose. Someone here's family was like, attached to someone who was addicted to like who was trying to be like that person this person knew who you were meant to be right they knew who you were meant to be with so this person was spreading rumors saying that the person who you're meant to be with was doing black magic or something like that y'all take it how it fit you know what i'm saying but yeah so they was just they was just obsessive yeah, this person to the past, this person from the past could be getting out of jail or coming out and just like, hey, wait, what's up? Like, you supposed to be who you with or are you with such and such? Or I don't know what the hell's going on. Someone, yeah. This is the copycat though, but that's what it says. It says copycat. Seeing through the fog. Someone here doesn't see through the uh, there. Someone here doesn't think that you see through the illusion here. Someone here doesn't see through the illusion. This person here, someone here could be coming back from your past and jumping to to go to the conclusion that they're going to get straight back into a relationship with you or something like that. But someone here is relaxed because they know that they've already kicked out this energy, this copycat. They know that they're a copycat. They know that they've been doing spell work and black magic over them. They know, hey, you ain't who you be pretending to be. Like, nah. My family is not about to manipulate me to stay with you. Or whatever the case may be. Let's keep going. Wah, wah, wah. Balance. Tarot card reading and balance. Yeah, copycat. This was the last card that came out, copycat. So someone here could possibly have been trying to be, if you're a reader, this person was trying to be a reader because you were a reader and this person could have, well, we're not going to get into that part. But yeah, things are going to be balanced out here. You two could both be readers here. And this person could have got into reading you know, to copycat, to copy off of you or something like that. I don't know. Balance is going to be restored. Access, warning, access denied, and performance and celebrating behind the scenes. They were fake. Someone here was being warned about this fake performance that they were putting on by pretending to have divine guidance. Someone here was warned not to do that. Um, now they're blocked. Someone here is blocked from doing that. Now they cannot, they can no longer. I don't know. They can no longer do that. Because now, with this, there's an upgrade here. 
you possibly have received the upgrade while whoever that was that was sending black magic to you because they knew that that's who the person that they wanted they knew that you two were meant to be together this is your karmic the karmic is now sitting in the energy of looking lost confused bound up chained to their actions that they took against you because all the magic and stuff has backfired someone here is being sexually humiliated for something as well possibly someone here is um people are laughing at this person for having like sexual codependency things or something like that someone here can't someone here bro i don't know bro <laughs> i'm not about to get into all that but it's not going right for the karmic right now um yeah so i'm at what 45 45 all right y'all i feel like that was a good reading you know what i'm saying this person here you should you know what to do trust your instinct <laughs> Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Don't even second guess it. This person, you are very highly intuitive. I saw a lot of um, insight cards as far as third eye cards. Your intuition is telling you exactly which way to go. There is something a very abundant waiting for you on the other side. If you choose to make the choice to move away from those who do not have your highest good and who have already shown you that they do not have your highest good in mind subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs> Bye.